Hello. Welcome to the Connect 007 experience. Here we come to the podcast where human connection is everything. If you're trying to connect better with those around you, you're in the right spot. So please sit back, relax, open your mind, and enjoy the experience. What is up, Connect 007 Tribe? I am your host, Thaddeus Sims, and today's episode is our 69th episode titled Talk to Someone. And no announcement this time, but there will be one next episode because this is going to be a very important podcast episode. So going into the fun fact, the fun fact is a baby octopus is about the size of a flea when it is born. You would think this would make them hard to spot, but since eggs are laid by the tens of thousands, it would be hard to miss a massive cluster of pea-sized octopuses. And I'm going to Google this. <laughs> I'm like, I want to see a picture of them. Ah, I'm curious. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen a huge cluster. I, mean, I don't think I've seen this in my Animal Planet days. But anyways, let us dive into this episode because this is this is going to be one of the most more serious episodes, guys. And you can probably tell by my voice I'm like, uh, sound different. But it's like. I don't know. It's like an emotionally charged episode, but nothing in a bad way. But just let us begin. So sit down, whatever you're doing, relax, drink your drink, drive in your car, ignore that coworker, whatever you're doing. Just relax because this is a very important talk. So by the title, it's called Talk to Someone. And what I would like to ask people, everyone who's listened to this episode is if you're going through something and when I say something, I don't mean like, you know, oh, my cat like ripped up my sheets. I'm pissed. Like, like, no, I mean like some serious stuff, guys, like some heavy, heavy stuff, like really trying to give you all some stuff here now instead of going too dark. But like you get what I mean. Like if you're really going through some things where you are just feeling way down and you you may be stressed. You may be just going through like beyond dying. Like you you may have even thought of like I'm wanting to end it. Right. And I don't want to set this like negative tone, but I have to talk serious here for you guys, because lately I have been experiencing and witnessing just other things with different people and what. I have noticed is that in the in this world nowadays, we when it comes to deep stuff that we're going through, we don't really share like too much. It's like very hard for us to share, even with people who are very close to us. And I have been guilty of that in the past. Like I could have been suffering in silence and there would be people who were super close to me. I mean, they could come over to the house. They could come over, unlock my door, fix them something to eat and go type like how that's how close we were and I would be suffering in silence and I wouldn't even tell people things like that and what I've come to find is that some people number one they don't want to put their burdens on other people that's one thing number two you may see yourself as being very very strong right because you don't want to share that with no one like nah I'm gonna suck it up I'm gonna deal with it but guys man if you are seriously like going through some very heavy dark stuff like some deep stuff you're holding in, please, please talk to someone because it's just not good to go through crazy stuff. Like, especially if you're going through something heavy, it's not good to go through it by yourself. Like there's friends who are there to help you. And granted, not all your friends could do that. Trust me, I get that. That was one of my things too. You have some friends and you can't tell certain friends certain things because some people, they overreact. But if you are going through some things to where 
you can't trust at least one or two friends, then that is an alert for you to really reevaluate the people you're hanging around with. Because if you can't really share all the things that you are experiencing and talk to someone, then that that's a that's a red flag. <laughs> that's a big red flag. So here's what I mean, guys. Like I've just I've just seen some stuff where there were people who were assaulted and come to find later like they were like sexually assaulted and things like that. Or there are people who may have some crazy, like deep rooted pain that they have not gotten over. Or some people are just like, you know, experience something that caused them to be very depressed. And what I've come to find is that when you don't have anyone to talk to about certain things, you put yourself in a box and you tend to shut yourself away from people or you don't want to think about it or talk about it. And honestly, guys, after a while, it it starts to weigh down on you. Like after a while, you get tired of pretending to be that person who isn't going through anything. You get tired of being that person who's happy all the time. And after a while, guys, it gets crazy. And sometimes there are some people who don't who rather suffer in silence and then until finally something happens and they're no longer with us, you know, and trying to avoid all of that. And so I just encourage you all to find someone that you can speak with, even if it's not a friend, maybe a therapist or anything like that. And that doesn't mean that you're crazy. I'm like team therapist. Like if there's someone professionally who can help you do that, like sometimes you just may need someone to just listen And I have come to find, guys, like even for myself, that I have went through some things and I just I just did not tell people for a while. And I just got tired of putting on the facade of being happy and stuff. Right. And until finally, I just revealed certain things to certain people. And as I got it out of my chest, it just I don't know, it just kind of like removed the corkscrew and I started to feel better. And then solutions started to come to me. And it just felt really good just to have someone to listen to or someone to listen to me. And I will tell you guys, there there are people who really want to help you and they really desire to help you. Because if you're going through something and you do something and they don't know that that really hurts. I just for an example is like if you're hearing this and if you're one of those people who are saying, yeah, 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 I hear you that, but I'm not the type of person to put my burdens on people. But you have to understand if this person is like a, if they're true friends of yours and you're going through something, they're willing to be there for you. I've come to find that I've had some friends who would tell me later on down the line that they went through something and it's still bothering them. And I was pissed because I'm like, why the fuck you didn't tell me that you were going through this? Like, bro, like I could have I could have helped you, you know, and that's just how we are. I, I will attack them. That's just our friendship. Not saying that all all your people would do that. So please don't let me like scare you away. That's just how I am with my friends. You know that that's pure passion and love with that with me. And it's just like man, I had no idea you were like suffering. And when I say suffering, guys, I mean suffering in silence. Like every day you wake up and it's just crazy. Like you tired all the time, not hungry, reliving the same thoughts of whatever has happened to you and then having to go out into the world and just smile and be happy, pretend to be happy like that. <sighs> Come to and when you find out like someone that you know has been through that and they didn't tell you until later, it you kind of get mad a little bit, but it's just like you be you're you're there. You you want to listen and help them. And I was just going to say, if you do have someone who is very close to you, close to you, it's good for you to let that out. And it's also an opportunity that will bring you closer to those friends of yours because you releasing the things that are burdening you may you give that other person permission to do the same later. And that really just helps out. It's a it's a great release, guys. And also, I'm going to tell you, too. If you're one of those people who are hearing this and you're saying, yeah, but I have to stay the strong one. Like, I'm telling you guys, I was that I was that strong one for a very long time. And I'm still a strong person. But, psh, hey, after a while, when you don't tell people like what's going on with you and you're suffering, it, it hurts. 
And after a while, it's going to catch up to you may have the thought, those thoughts like, why is it that people don't check up on me? And it's because you're putting on that facade like everything's OK. And sometimes it's OK not to be the strong one. And you have to really look at that image that you have in your mind. You may think, oh, me not showing what I'm going through or not telling people what I'm going through. You know, that's keeping me that's making me strong. But it's like if that it's good not to tell certain people your things. But if you don't have at least a few, one or two that you can put down your walls and your guards and actually express like what's really going on, then that's a false strength. So I'm going to tell it to you now. That's a false strength. If you can't really tell someone what's going on, and you're keeping up. That's a very false strength. And in reality, you may be very fearful. And you may need to look at that because I was that. I was that person who had those walls, who didn't want no one to know. And finally, it came down to a point where I just was over it. It was just like one day, like I was just done with life. And I, I wasn't going to kill myself, but I was kind of like at that in that on that level of I'm just really done with the world. And myself, I was just done with everything. I was just empty at that point. And it took a friend to really do something dramatic to come like come over to the house. And, you know, we talked and that really just allowed me to break down those walls and just share like, man, this is what I'm going through. This is what I feel. And I've been trying to hold this stuff in and be sure. And I just let it out, guys. And it just felt really good. And after that, it was just like, man, I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to do that no more. I, I need to start saying like how I feel is just better. And you get the message, guys. I don't want to keep going in a circle. Just if there is something you are going through, please do talk to someone because it is not it is not fun. It is it, it is not feel good waking up and having those heavy things. Now, I'm going to switch to the second part of this, which is like. You may be someone who's not going through this. I'm going to be honest with you. You might be like, okay, that, that was kind of dark, you know, way to set my day. <laughs> but I'm sorry. Just know it. you may you may be okay. You may be hunky-dory. You legit might be, have, you might be the person who heals through his things or her things. And you get through it. You get over it. Like you actually get over it. You you see what it is. You recognize it. You heal yourself. You you forgive whatever you who and whatever you have to forgive, and you move it on. And you're genuinely happy. You're genuinely living your best life, right? And everything is good. You have peace in your life, inside and outside, and you authentic everywhere you go, right? You're a bright light. Now, and of course, you know, you have your challenges, but still, besides the challenges, like everything's great, but you may not be going through this. So what I would say is check up on your friends and especially the strong, the always happy and the funny ones, especially them do check up on them. And what I mean by check up, you don't have to, you know, be weird and be like, hey, you're not, you're not thinking anything crazy, are you? Like, you know, just really ask your strong friends away from people. Give me all some insiders away from people and just be like, hey, bro, just wanted, you know, it's totally random, but I just wanted to ask, hey, is everything okay? Like, I know everything, you, you're you smiling and whatnot, but I just wanted to make sure, you know, besides all of that, is everything okay with you, like, internally? And if they say, you know, yeah, man, everything is great, blah, 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 and you don't get any type of vibe or anything, then just like, okay. And then just let them know like, hey, bro. Okay, cool. I just, I wanted to do that just to check up on you. Not saying that something's wrong, but I just wanted you to know if there is something, you know, you can talk to me. I just wanted to give you that invitation. Just make it known. And a person, but okay, thank you. And that, that means a lot. That person, you're, you're like in the back of that person's head if they ever go through something, right? You're, you become an option. And some people don't like to be an option, but in that particular case, you'll become an option to those people who are strong. They will remember that you will you will stand out and especially the ones who are always happy, which not saying that every happy person is, you know, they actually not. But there are the signs that those be the ones you really need to check up on. Like they're always happy for a reason. And they may use that as, you know, a cover up. I've had some friends who they tricked me really well. They were happy. I didn't think nothing of it until, you know, like they say, things always, things that you do in the dark always comes out in the light. And it just happened to be a situation where 
I don't know, the environment, it was just set up perfectly where that friend was, I happened to be somewhere and the friend was there too. And something just happened. Like things just went left. I don't really have the whole story on that and I don't really care. But I got to see a different side of them. And I just was, I happened to be there and I was like, hey, like everything okay? And they couldn't really hide. Like they didn't have the strength to be happy. Like, oh yeah, you know. It's just, they just broke down and they just told me like everything that was going on like that whole night. And I just looked at them like, I would have never known you were, you always seemed so happy. And it was like, yeah, I just, I just don't want people to, you know, to, to, to ask me or to put my burdens on them. That's just how I deal with it. I I just pretend to be happy for everyone else's sake, because when I'm happy or I like to make other people happy because it it makes me feel good, even if I'm feeling like shit. And it's just like, dang, bro. And we talked, you know, they're better. And that's what I'm just saying. Check up on the happy ones and the funny ones, the, the ones who are always making jokes and making everybody laugh, especially them. Check up on them, because a lot of us, we all have come to grow up and I'm going to be on the negative side with this. A lot of us have grown up to learn how to hide our pain. And we have been really good at hiding our pain and putting stuff on top of that so people wouldn't notice. A lot of us are really good at wearing masks, right? And it's just good, especially like to check up on those people. Just, you know, let them know. Hey, I'm here for you. Just wanted to check up and things like that. And I just want to say a little bit about this, especially just with those people. That's why I say pull them to the side and just ask them like, hey, is everything I know, you know, it looks like everything is okay. I just wanted to ask like personally, is everything okay with you? I say that because a lot of us will see, you know, Facebook statuses. We may see our friends are getting married. We may the highlights. We see the highlights of all of our, you know, some of our friends' lives. Oh, this person just got engaged. This person's about to get married, about to have a baby, blah, 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 blah. Um, they just got this business, they got all of this, right? And you may assume, oh yeah, okay, well, everything great. Last time I heard from them, they were doing this or they were moving here. But if they're really your friend, check up on them, be like, hey, you know, I'm I heard, you know, business is going great and I ain't bro, I'm very happy for you. And they're like, yeah, man, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I just wanted to ask you, is everything besides business personally, are you okay? Everything's good? And they're gonna obviously say, Yeah, man, why? And you just let them know, hey, I just wanted to ask and check up on you. Just cause, just you know, a lot of us may go through some things and we may not tell people and we may not know who to trust. And I just wanted to in in uh, let the invitation out and let you know, hey, if you ever need somebody to talk to, I'm here for you. I just wanted to check up on you because you're my bro or you're my sis and I really care about you. Just doing that, guys, will, again, you will be an option. And some people will just tell you right off the bat. They're like, you know what? I'm glad you asked, man. Seriously, blah, 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 blah. And they'll tell it to you. So just take it a step further, guys. If you're all good, check up on your friends. And I know we make a, we make, funny statuses on that, like check up on your Virgo friends or just check up on your crazy, whatever. But seriously, check up on people because we all hear that everyone has battles and has something very personal going on with them that you may never know. And sometimes all it really takes is just asking them a question alone, away from people. I have to say that because some of y'all going to go out there and just start asking people, hey, you okay? And they going to lie to you straight in your face because you ask them in front of that one friend they don't really care for and a mama just don't do that (laughs) right like alone away from you know away from people and just ask them it would really go a long way and you're probably wondering again i kind of said this earlier but like where the heck is all of this coming from but again this is the podcast where it's all about human connection and y'all know that and the biggest thing about connection is is it's It's very, I can't even put, it's priceless to have someone that you can really connect with and really talk to. I'm telling you guys, that is, uh, that is something that's very priceless. I have at least over, I would say I have at least over four people. I can't think of the ones I'd be talking to on the regular like that, but I have, I know I have at least over four people that I can literally just say, hey, this is what is going on with my life and just 
put it out there and knowing that they will do their best to help me out because I'm going to tell you guys, you know, there are some days I'll be doing a podcast and psh, your boy can be going through it behind this uh, this phone, this 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 recording. But I don't really you know put it all out there because it's like, oh, we got to heal this. And I've had some friends challenge me who will say and, and it's really good to have these friends, too. Right. I forgot to mention this. Have some of those friends who challenge you and who really read you because I'm a, I'm a very observant person. I when I when I'm close with you, oh, I observe everything. I observe your patterns. I'm, I'm going to sound so weird, but it's OK. I'm going to expose myself. But I, I notice everything. I notice how you respond to things. I notice the way you your eyes go when you accept something or when you don't accept something. Oh, yeah, I'm like that. Like I do that with all my friends. I can tell by even your tone of voice. It's to, it's, I have it down to the point of your breath. If you breathe a certain way, I know what it means. It's just weird. That's just me. I'm just very observant when it comes to people, I, especially the ones I love. That's just me. And so I have some friends who are the same. And I had one friend call me out and he was like, you know, to be honest with you, because he was asking me how you're doing. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm good. You know, everything's growing, you know, blah, 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 the usual. And he was like, you know. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like you don't really tell me what would really be going on with you. And I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, I feel like you you go through stuff by yourself and then you talk about it later after you've kind of gotten through with it. And I'm just like, what? And I was like, OK, well, well, yeah, like because I usually go through stuff by myself and I and I get through it really quick. So I don't really tell anyone because by the time I've told you. If I if I went through it, probably within the next hour or two, max day, actually half a day, I've learned from it and I forgot all about it. I've learned from it, grew from it, and the lesson has become automatic that you may ask me three days later, hey, everything okay? I'm looking at you like what? What is every is what are you talking about? Like not not to like I'm I'm so honest with you guys. Like I will learn things, get it, and it is done. I've got it and I move on and I I forget that it even happened. And a friend asked me, like, hey, everything OK? And I'm like, what are you talking about? You remember three days? I'm like, oh, yeah, bro. I resolved it. But being my my friends, being my friends, they know I have to explain. OK, hey, yeah, this is what happened. I did this step. This is what I learned. I feel great. I applied it. And since then, blah, blah, blah. And they know, OK, he's not just saying that he actually learn from it and i have some friends who like like him he will check me and just say yeah bro i just feel like you go through stuff and you don't really you don't really say nothing and i want you to tell me when you go through things and it was just kind of like well this is gonna be hard but okay i I get what you're saying it was like dang I'm, i'm very thankful so guys that's you can do that with your friends especially if you're close with them you can check them and just be like guys or hey sis Nah, you're going through stuff. But I'm going to tell it to you like this, too, guys. A lot of your friends. This is kind of I'm, I'm actually going to check everybody. A lot of the people you are around, especially your close friends, they know you be going through some things and they pick up on it. Your your vibes different. People notice when you act a little different or when you act in a little extra. And some people will either come at you and ask you, or some people may not. And it may be because they may not do it because of, you know, how you portray certain things. Like you may be the type you don't want to deal with certain things or you may get pissed off when people check up on you when you really want people to be checked up on you. Or you may come off as always a strong one. They may just say, oh, he'll figure it out. He'll be fine. And you could be dying inside and you may think, well, nobody checked up on me and you feel that. But it's just like it could be the energy you're putting out. So you may want to check up on that, too, guys. So with that being said, guys, that is kind of like (laughs) that is with this with this podcast. I feel I'm so I apologize again that I if I have darkened the mood a little bit before in the beginning, but I just had to put it out there, guys. So. Just know, like, I care. And again, if you are going through something, please talk to someone. You are not going through things alone. And I know some people always give that excuse of, well, I was born in the world alone. I'm going to die alone. And it's like, okay, well, that's cute. But somebody had to have sex for you to get here. So it took two to tango, right? 
or something. It, it 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 took two people. Two people did something to get you here. And when you was when you popped out, you popped out with the person. You popped out maybe with a twin. You popped out in the hospital somewhere. And if you weren't in the hospital, you popped out somewhere. There were some people. So you 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 popped out with people. You there were people there for you. And it's gonna you gonna be surrounded by people all your life. You can go to a desert, uh, an island, but people going to be around there no matter how many miles apart. You're going to be surrounded by people. So when people give me that whole I was born in where I'm going to die by myself. OK, that's cute, but not really. You know, somebody going to be there. You gonna always be surrounded by people. You may be in the house by yourself, but God damn it, you got neighbors. So that's just me. Because a lot of people only look at it in a small point of view. I'm like, nah, bro, I can swear you have like three neighbors. I'm pretty sure you have um, Miss uh, Tyrika down the street. And I'm pretty sure that you have um, Mr. Beckel over there, too. So last time I checked, um, he was asking you for the screwdriver. So technically you ain't alone. But anywho, that's just that part on that. So talk to somebody, guys. Really, really do. And you guys are awesome. Seriously, seriously. And again, you're just not alone. Just so please talk to people. If you don't hear from nobody else, please just hear it from me. Like, just do it. Just and and take your time. Take baby steps. If this is hard for you, like it was for me, I'm, I, I hope you guys don't get to a point where it was for me, where I had to be at my at critical for that to happen. Take baby steps, like. Test people. Test your friends. If you're one of those who are very, I don't want to tell nobody what's going on. Tell them something. Give them a little test. What I mean by this is, let's just say one of your dark things. I'm going to say this in a such a positive way. But let's just say one of those dark things is that you actually think every day what, you know, that people around you may be better off without you. So what you want to do, if you know that's too much to put on someone, you want to test to see how they respond. Talk to that best friend and be like, you know, hey, can't believe I'm fit to tell y'all this. But anyways, be like, hey, bro, I seen this show where this person said X, Y and Z, you know, something that you're going through. But don't don't say it's you. You got to you got to play it right. Like, yeah, I seen this show where this one girl, she was just like talking to her friends and she was just coming out and she was just like, yeah, man, I just feel like the world would be a better place like without me and stuff like that. And it was just kind of interesting. And then you just asked like, but, you know, it made me think if I wasn't here, bro, what would you do? How would you feel? And see how they respond. Like, you got to you got to play it off. Right. I, I know. I'm, I know. I'm I'm, I'm kind of telling y'all it ain't really lying, but it's a tactic. God dang it. You can play around and you get access to see how they respond. And you'll see a certain people will you, you can see by their response, like if they really they really feel you and. From there, you can you can take it further and then let them know. You're like, all right, let me be honest with you. This is how I feel, you know, and just let you know, lay it out. There is te- little tests that you guys can do. I know that sounds so bad. That sounds so tricky and conniving. But some of y'all, this is just from for some of y'all that's really hard for y'all to do that. Y'all got to test some people to make sure they're worth getting that from. I've done it to the A, just saying. I, and I still test people. Like I see, I ask them certain questions and it may not be related to me, but it's just things that I like to observe and just see how they would be for someone else that may not be in particular interest of them. So throw these tests out there if you're very reluctant on receiving help. So with this episode, guys, oh, let me ask my intuition before I, before I, before I conclude on this segment. We good? I didn't get nothing. Okay, cool. We're good. So that segment is done. And now we're going to move to the health is wealth segment. And for some of you guys who are new, the health is wealth segment is all about me sharing information on certain foods that will benefit your your health, your life. Because when you listen to this podcast, not only are you learning more about human connection and the value of yourself and those around you, right? And those before you and after you, right? Went there. You're also being more aware of benefits to your health that you could incorporate in your diet. Because apparently it's being, I don't know, I'm starting to notice that there are a couple of people I've been around that don't really eat vegetables or fruits like that. Like I've talked to one person and they don't really 
they don't really do vegetables. And I'm just like, how are you, how are you standing? And there's one person, I asked them about fruits and they're like, yeah, I don't do fruits like that. And it's just like, oh my God, y'all, y'all be walking around stiff and hurting and all types of other things. Y'all need to get a little, get a little watermelon in you. You need to, you need to do something. And as one friend of mine says, and she's very blunt. She was like, oh, I bet they pee stink. And I was just like, well, we're not going to go there. So that was a tangent, but health as well. This particular food is going to be, or thing, topic, whatever, is going to be hemp seeds. And so hemp seeds are really, really cool. Um, as you know, they are sent, they are hemp, they're seeds, they're hemp. Also, for some people, you should know hemp does not get you high, though it is like in the family of uh, cannabis or whatever. Probably saying that wrong. Anywho, it's in that family, but it doesn't get you high. I believe like the TLC or whatever, the content that gets you high is like 0.03. And then it's like more in the cannabis, whatever. Y'all know I ain't good with numbers. You can research it, but it doesn't get you high, right? But the hemp seeds are really good. They're like a, a mild nutty flavor that they give you. I personally use hemp seeds i actually yeah i I eat hemp seeds pretty much every day if it's in a it's always in a salad of mine and i also mainly make a milk out of it y'all know i'm alkaline vegan so i have to i i can't do cow milk so you can make hemp milk out of um the hemp seeds and some of y'all like what how do you make how do you make milk out of seeds that's so weird well you can google it but if you want to know a quick little recipe, a little razzle dazzle, you know, get you a little food processor, get about two tablespoons of hemp seeds, put that in there, put, I think, one eighth, one eighth a teaspoon, one eighth teaspoon of sea salt, put in uh, probably about like what we're going to go, depending on how sweet you want it, if you want it sweet, put a little agave in there, maybe about what? half a tablespoon that's just meat or half a teaspoon depending on what you want to do and then fill it up with water cup of water or two depending probably two cups whatever put it in processor blend it turns white boom you got milk done it looks like a whole milkshake i'm telling you guys it's delicious i use it for all of my baking and um also like if i have a cereal all of that it's so good right and you don't have to make the milk but that's what i do but you could put it in your salads and stuff like that and it's also a good like topping on other things but that's just how i eat it that's just me that's how i consume it but the benefits of it is actually really amazing every time i look up the benefits of these things it it, it blows my mind so the first benefit is protein in every 30 grams of seeds or about three tablespoons, there are 9.46 grams of protein. Dang, three tablespoons? So that's like, okay. I'm trying to do math. Y'all are going to see how bad I am with math. So I think, I think I get at least six grams of protein because it says three tablespoons and I use two in my milk. So I'm getting at least six point something protein. So, okay, bet, bet, bet. The second thing is unsaturated fats. Hemp seeds are a great source of essential fatty acids, such as alpha linolenic acid or ALA, which is an o- which is an omega three, and also the body cannot produce essential fatty acids, and the body must absorb them from the diet. They are crucial for long term health. The third thing is fiber. Much of the fiber in hemp seeds lie in its outer hull or shell, if possible. Purchase hemp seeds with the holes intact. However, even without the shells, hemp seeds are a good source of PF fiber. Sorry, a good source of fiber. With three tablespoons containing approximately 1.2 grams of fiber. I got to break it up in three. Anyways, the fourth one is minerals and vitamins. Hemp seeds contain an impressive array of vitamins and minerals and are especially rich in vitamin E magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. They are also a good source of iron, zinc, and B vitamins, including niacin, riboflavin, I said that right, riboflavin sounds weird, thiamine, vitamin B6, and folate. Also, it protects the brain, it boosts heart health, and reduce inflammation. Now, 
I didn't put this one part in here, but I'm just going to say it. Please do the research. The only the, the the part of me sharing this is also for you guys to do your research as well. So, you know, don't don't take everything I say. Do your research. But it did say that with the with the boost, with the protects the brain, because it does have a little bit of the, I don't know, cannabinoid something in there or whatever. I know I'm butchering this, so that's probably why I didn't put it in there. But it's known as like antioxidants and it helps with like the. uh it helps with the um, our si- immune system and things like that. But it was saying that it was two researches that was done that show that it actually could help with uh, like mental like uh, diseases. So like Parkinson's and um, Alzheimer's, all of that. So it was just very interesting. There was two researches in there, but I didn't really see to verify that. But for those of you who may be interested, I would just like I'm just sharing that for you guys to do your, your research and, and look into that. So anything to help in that area, by all means, look into that. So with that being said, guys, that is it for this episode. Again, please talk to someone. If you are going through things, let it out. People are your friends. We are social creatures. People are amazing. You are amazing. And you don't have to go through whatever it is that you're going through by yourself. Please, 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 please talk to someone. And I'm just saying it from a person who was very resistant towards talking to someone. And if I wasn't, if I didn't do that, honestly, just giving a shout out to a bunch of my friends who do listen to the podcast and they know the story. They they know me. Apparently, I, I'm too much for them. But if it wasn't for those people, guys, I would not you would not be hearing this podcast. <laughs> this podcast wouldn't exist. And most likely if it wasn't for those friends and family who were in my life for me to talk and share those things, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be here. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, talk to someone. You are all important. And again, you shouldn't have to go through anything by yourself. So with that being said, guys, you are amazing. I will talk to you all Friday and enjoy the rest of your week. Later. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Please leave a five star rating and share with a friend near you. Remember, the world's a better place because you exist. Know your worth and know thyself.